St Bridget's Hospital in Calcanshore. Look, we need definite answers about this. We are told that the staff were needed in Cashel. I understand over 74,000 people, Minister, you can correct me, applied and got and fair dues them to work in the HSE frontline services, and only a party 140 or so uh, were, were employed. So why do we take the staff from St Bridges to go to Cashel? I'm delighted to see Cashel open. Our lady who visited there with me and others, and you saw the state of it. 22 million, the pristine state of it, 22 million had been spent on it. So now it's reopened, we're delighted, and we wish well to the patients who moved in from St Patrick's and the staff and their families and all the care workers. But I want to know what's going to happen post uh, COVID. We want to know is that going to be kept open as a hospital? No more lame excuses that it wasn't fit, they couldn't go up the stairs and whatever else. So that's, that can't be allowed. Minister, the breast check and the cervix gives me a test, and all those other tests. People are waiting so anxiously. We'll see your former leader now out advocating for the hospice and fair juice them. People would cancel, prostate cancer would be advised to check, check, test, bowel smearing. All stopped. And people are getting sick and worried that the stress of it is making them sick. And it's, it is compounding the mental health issues and they need to be dealt with. Early intervention services, Minister. They've just been abandoned now for the last three or four months. They were bad anyway. And they're vital to the children and to the adults as well with disabilities if there are new cases uh, presenting. And St. Um, St. Rita's in Clanmel, we had difficulties last year opening it. We want to make sure it's open this summer. July provision, I think, is going to start. It has to start. Just picture a family at home with an adult child, a young man or woman that has severe, profound disability. I have them on to me. Thankfully, some of the pitches are open this week, and there's play, uh, the pitches, uh, soccer and GA fields, that they can go in there at limited times. But they needed that. They were incarcerated for, the, for, for three months and didn't even get the trip on the bus with the siblings. And that routine was very important to them. So, Minister, I want you to, uh, to answer the Also, I've asked about mental health. You mentioned the mental health of us not getting our hair cut. Mine isn't growing that much anyway, so I might want to get to 10, 10, 20. But, um, People, I have barbers who are suffering from mental health because their job is to get up and work. The banter, the service, the customer. Customers are being dealt with in the black market, and it's quite simply appalling. And it's expanding all the time, the black market. So this man, William Walton Care, has, or Clan Mill, has set up his uh, saloon. It's like a phone box you go into, and you're disinfected, going in and going out, and gowns and everything else. A very professional man, and he needs to get going back to work. Work is his therapy, and work is, his, is, 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 is what he wants to do. Minister of Private Hospitals. We had to sign up, I supported it. But look, this month of June should have been, the contract should have been changed. If it had cost money, so be it. Let him get back to work. I won't even talk about City West. It's appalling, mister, to have that kind of money being paid for an empty building and a field hospital. Look, we thought we needed them. We didn't, thank God. So look, Get them back to work in use, because the, 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 the queues are getting longer and longer. Minister, please, I'm, I plead with you to do that, and I plead with you to continue tomorrow with the uh, effort and insist that you let barbers and places like that, and the pubs, let them go back to one metre, because they can't survive, and they mightn't reopen. Minister? So look, I, 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 you, you make a very compelling point in relation to barbers and I, I do want to make the point that I think I've been listening to them in the media recently and I've been listening to the huge efforts they've been making to adapt their premises. I've heard them talk about bringing one customer or two customers in at a time. They're going to huge lengths and I, I really hope we can make progress on this and we have to obviously get the public health advice considered as a government and I've outlined to you the timeline in relation to that. On pubs as well, I mean, we've made it clear the type that might be able to open in terms of those that effectively operate as restaurants. But nobody wants to be, let's be clear here, nobody wants to be the pub or the restaurant where there's a big outbreak of COVID. That's not good for business either. It's not good for the health of people in your community as well. We've made a lot of progress and saving a lot of lives and we can't go backwards. And it is a balance. And good, strong public health policy will actually help our economy and help our businesses and help our people. But I hear you in relation to that. I do hope we'll have news tomorrow in relation to the July provision, but I also hope Deputy McGrath will be broader than just the traditional July provision and that my department and the HSC will also play a role in providing therapies and supports for the reasons you've outlined in terms of early intervention services. So I hope to have good news in that in regard to tomorrow. I'll always rather stand here as Health Minister and take flack for the private hospitals not being as busy and for City West not being as busy, rather than standing here wondering A, why we didn't have them, B, why we ran out of ventilators, or, or C, why we didn't have a field hospital. Thank God we didn't need them. And you know what, if we had to pay some money as effectively an insurance policy for that safety net, it was worth every single cent. And I think most taxpayers in this country will agree with that. Thank but you. we do need to now look at the strategy going forward, because we're in a very different place as well. I've already commented on screening. And I would point out, though, anyone with symptoms should come forward. Don't wait for a screening test. If you have a symptom of cancer, the health service is open today. Thank Bring you. your GP today, and I'll, I'll write to you on St. Bridget's. Thank you very much.